We're going to take a little bit of a deeper dive into cesarean scar pregnancy and placenta accreta spectrum, which is now the verbiage we tend to be using for a pathologically adherent placenta. So our objectives in the next 30 minutes are for you to be able to distinguish the first trimester sonographic findings suggestive of placenta accreta, and we're going to divide them into two gestational age ranges, those between 6 and 10 weeks of gestation and those between 11 and 14 weeks gestation. We'll also discuss some of the pathophysiologic theories behind the development of this situation, and I want you to be able to understand and apply the added clinical benefit of a first trimester scan to the diagnosis of placenta accreta spectrum and how you might impact clinical outcome. And of course, a very important thing we'll go over is understanding the change in gestational sac and placental position with advancing pregnancy duration. Now, Dr. Sinkovskaya showed you this beautiful graphic, which came from the New England Journal of Medicine. In normal pregnancy, the placenta is separated from the myometrium by the decidua. The fundamental pathologic process in placenta accreta spectrum is thought to be an abnormality in that decidua, and recent um, histologic information suggests that there is an increase, excessive fibrinoid deposition at that interface, which makes it glue-like and sticky. And what happens is the villi then extend or protrude into the myometrium and even up to the serosa in varying degrees. So that can be either a global or focal process, but if you go a little bit in, you have an accreta, you go further into the myometrium, you'll have an increta, and even further than that, you'll have the percreta. Now there are two theories, as I said, about that trophoblastic extension, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Now, the primary risk factor is cesarean delivery, and you're all aware that since about 2010, one in three babies in the United States is born by a cesarean section. So it's a, almost a human-made problem that we're talking about. And the biggest risk factor for placenta accreta spectrum is the combination of placenta previa in the setting of a previous cesarean delivery. And this increase is dramatic so that if you have one prior cesarean section, the risk is 11%, but if you've had three prior cesarean sections, it can be 61%. You can see that tremendous increase shown by the red line, versus if you don't have a placenta previa, you may have an increase shown in the blue line, but it's not as exponential as when you have a previa.